Hey, Cree Public Schools, it is Friday, March 5th. That's crazy to say, and it's time for your Friday update. Um, I hope you are being able to get outside and enjoy this awesome, this awesome weather, the warmer temperatures, the sunshine. Uh, I tell you what, with where my office is located, being, being able to hear kids outside playing and interacting uh, is just awesome. Uh, I love to see it. I love to hear it. Uh, and I hope you're finding some time to get out and enjoy this weather as well. For those of you that don't know me very well, I'm freezing cold unless it's 80 degrees. So while temperatures are heading in the right direction, it's not quite warm enough yet for me. Um, with this warmer weather, it brings on our spring sports season. And the NSAA has released their guidelines for, I guess, not just the, the sports season, but also all spring activities. And right now, the NSAA guidelines are still requiring that face coverings be worn at all NSAA sanctioned events. Uh, for those outdoor events, it is totally okay to take your face mask off if you can maintain six feet of social distancing. I think that's so important that we understand those rules because the last thing we want to do uh, is jeopardize any opportunities our student athletes and our student uh, activity participants have uh, not only to participate in the regular season, but also in the postseason. So uh, thank you for understanding that and following those, those guidelines that have been put out by the NSAA. We're excited for our spring season. Uh, our teams and activities are already hard at it. Official practices have, have begun, and I'm excited to see uh, what our kids do this spring. Um, right across the street from my office is the old Chopco building. Uh, if you haven't been driven by lately, uh, that project is moving along nicely. Uh, I don't get to say this very often, but it's on schedule and on budget, which is fantastic. Now, you can't see a lot. Um, happening on the outside yet, but as the temperature changes, uh, you will start to see uh, some of the exterior work. Uh, but the inside is almost totally transformed already. Walls are up, or at least the framing is done. Um, it's really coming together nicely. Now, why is this important project for us? Um, in the strategic plan, it called for us to explore that as a welcome center, and that's exactly what it's going to be. It will become the Creek Public Schools Welcome Center. Um, Name not official yet, but that's the, that's the concept, that's the idea, the Welcome Center, uh, with the idea that it becomes the one-stop shop for everything Creek Public Schools. So registering kids, if you're new to town, you can come there, get connected not only with Creek Public Schools, but we can help you get connected with all the services and supports that we offer, as well as other organizations in town. And we look forward to being able to do that for our families. We'll keep you updated on that. Uh, Completion date is scheduled for June 30. Uh, we're keeping our fingers crossed on that uh, so that we can start the next school year uh, in that new facility uh, so that our community can enjoy it, our families can enjoy it, uh, and we can continue to provide outstanding services for our students, families, staff, and community. Uh, our COVID numbers continue to look awesome. Um, as of today, we have one positive COVID case and 19 students uh, and staff in quarantine. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions about, okay, so how much longer are you going to continue with face masks? And I, I believe there are three things that have to happen before uh, we even consider uh, moving away from requiring face masks. The first of those is our staff need to be vaccinated. Uh, we have had a great response to our staff who want the vaccine, and we're continuing to work with Public Health Solutions to get that scheduled. I would like to see that the public health solutions dial goes to green and it's moving closer to green each week. So keep that up. The third thing that I think is important for us to consider is the quarantine time. So the last thing I want to do is let's say we open it back up and we say masks aren't required, but the quarantine time stays the same. And now all of a sudden we have our quarantine numbers really move up. So I would really like to see that quarantine time get shortened. Um, and all three of those things. So the vaccine for our staff, the, um, the green health dial, and the shortened um, quarantine time, I really think we're close on all three of those. So we'll continue to monitor. Of course, if our plans change, we will communicate that with you as soon as possible. So thank you for your continued support. I hope you're getting out there enjoying the weather. Uh, so many amazing things happening at Creek Public Schools right now. Uh, we'll continue to share those with you. Again, make sure you're connected uh, to the appropriate schools, uh, Facebook and Twitter accounts so that you can stay up to date uh, with the latest happenings and celebrations in Creek Public Schools. Thanks for your support. Always reach out if you have questions, comments, or concerns. Connect with Dr. McDowell. You can find it on our website. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.